So my little corner of Open SUNY is um, called the Center for Online Teaching Excellence, and the acronym for that is COAT. And what we are currently working on, there are four pillars of COAT, and I work on one called Course Supports, and that is a very organized effort again to, uh, at, the program, uh, at the program level, to improve the um, quality of the online courses by <coughs> applying a lens called the OSCAR rubric to uh, each course inside of a program. Some of the elements of quality in an online course that we're, we're uh, looking, looking for with our rubric are um, uh, social presence, whereby the student uh, feels welcome into the course, where there's uh, an established trust between the instructor and the student. Um, cognitive presence, where there are worthwhile activities that connect directly to intended uh, learning outcomes. And um, teaching presence, whereby there is built-in um, levels of interaction between uh, student and students and uh, the instructor and the students so that learning activities are as engaging as possible for the students. So in these online courses, we want to, as much as possible, mitigate the distance between the student and the instructor and have, uh, <clears throat> have students engage in, acti in learning activities and assessments that can be mapped directly to learning outcomes stated by the course. And then uh, generating what's what we call an action plan a plan for revision um, to improve the, uh, those courses. And so we are working with campuses and campus resources to make that happen. It's not us doing all the work, it's us coordinating all the work. We offer some resources to campuses that um, enable them to um, use their own resources as well as the uh, community at large. So in Open SUNY, we have um, generated a, a community of over 700 members at this point. And many of those members have committed to uh, essentially uh, provide service to uh, the system, not just their campus, but to the system. The Open SUNY system is so huge um, and they're so nice. Um, it's nice to reach out to the group and to, to get an, a response that's so varied from so many different people. So some of those services will include training, where they will be uh, training others on campuses and things that uh, they uh, specialize in. Uh, because we have to recognize that they have expertise and teaching ability, and uh, that's what we're trying to do in Open SUNY. In addition, uh, we're offering training, um, training curriculum for uh, many different levels of online instruction. So from the very beginner level of developing a new course and teaching online for the first time, all the way to uh, highly experienced uh, instructors, even further up the ladder to, uh, ex to expert instructional designers through the Instructional Designer Certificate Program. Um, we also, there are also certificate programs for directors of online learning. Um, so uh, what we're offering is essentially is training and resources. Um, also our rubric, which we're very happy with, um, called the OSCAR rubric. Uh, again, an instrument uh, through which um, campuses can uh, <coughs> determine a level of revision needed for their programs and for their courses. And what we want to, be able to, want to be able to do is help campuses with certain processes such as uh, uh, making, making all courses accessible, making sure that, um, that the law, uh, that compliance laws are followed. And not all campuses are able to do that with their current resources. So we want to help them and support them in doing it. In terms of faculty support, we realized we're a small operation on campus. What can we do to help the faculty when we're not there? We look to SUNY for that, and we've 
gotten the SUNY Help Desk, the extended hours for weeknights and weekends, and that has been really just a plus, adding to what we're able to do for the faculty who want the one-on-one -on -one and, <coughs> excuse me, to see us on campus. They now are also able to go to SUNY for help. Already, Open SUNY Coat, again, Center for Online Teaching Excellence, has um, provided a framework for some campuses to uh, to use on their campus to improve the quality of their programs. So sometimes campuses have to make this up on their own and that can be a lot of effort and sometimes not as fruitful as, as that being supplied for them by a larger system. So when they see their neighboring campuses using uh, a framework and, they, and perhaps see a little bit of success with that framework, uh, cam campuses tend to align along those, uh, those types of, of efforts and resources when they see them working. Um, we have a legacy from the SUNY Learning Network of uh, really striving for excellence in online teaching and learning. And so that has helped us uh, along with uh, bringing campuses on to our rubric, to using our rubric, uh, but also subscribing to uh, a refresh process whereby instructional designers, librarians, and multimedia developers gather around um, courses and um, really in a true collegial and collaborative way um, work toward improving the student experience. Because even at the beginning the rubric is, is uh, phrased in a way and uh, takes the perspective of a student and how a student would see uh, a certain course. One, one thing that I really like about uh, that process in particular is that the rubric is not evaluative. It does not provide a score. It provides a number of hours or estimated hours for how long it will take to meet the standards. So that makes our rubric somewhat unique. Um, in addition, we also have this community uh, that we're trying to nurture across SUNY. We've been wanting to do this for a very long time, but now it is um, a specific effort for Open SUNY. So there is system um, uh, agreement behind it. And so uh, again, we have our community I believe is now about 800 members strong and it will always be growing. And so we're going to um, leverage that community, as I mentioned before, in terms of training others. We have so much expertise out in our community. Uh, we would love to have that, uh, that collaboration and that contribution to communities of practice to really flower through Open SUNY.